Want to have your car on fan rides? This is what you do. Send me pictures of the interior, pictures of the engine, and pictures of the exterior. A bunch of different pictures. You don't have to send just one or two of each. You can send me five, ten, or whatever of the interior, exterior, and engine pics. And I'll just pick out the ones that I'm going to use. And also a one minute clip of it running so we can hear that beautiful choppy chop chopness that it has and the exhaust. Because everybody loves to hear some good exhaust and some doggone cars chopping it up. So if you would, do that and you could be on fan rides and you send it to this email address right here and we'll get your car on fan rides. And plus, uh, along with that, um, it might not come out like the next day or two or whatever. It might be a week or two before your car gets out because there might be cars ahead of yours. So just be patient with me and we'll get your car on fan rides. Hey yo, you ready? Let's do it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Fox Chamber. Hey, I've got a nice Capri out here for y'all today. This bad boy is off the chain. Y'all are gonna definitely love this thing. It is an eye catcher, 100%. And uh, I'm gonna talk to the young man that owns this bad boy. He's gonna run down some stats and stuff like that to you, what he's undone to the car, why he's undone some of the things that he's done to it. And uh, we're gonna check this bad boy out. My name's Rod Wallace. Um, I live in Waverly, Tennessee. Um, this, uh, is a 79 Mercury Capri, which is the first year for the Fox body. And the car actually started as a convertible. It was one of six ever built that was sold by uh, Ford Lincoln Mercury, if you will. Nice. Um, it was a uh, customer conversion that was set out. And the story to the car, if you look them up on the internet, was the conversions actually cost more than the original car did. Uh, <laughs> this was an original 5.0 car. And uh, of course, obviously it's not now. It's got the second gen Coyote in it. And oh, it's yeah. got a six speed automatic. so. How the story started though was I bought the car along in 1990-91. Uh, the car came out of uh, the Denver, Colorado area originally. And uh, my daughter, who had spent a little time in the car in her life, in parades and stuff with me, uh, wanted me to restore the car. The car was originally white with maroon. Okay. And it was a fairly attractive car, but you know, the car hammered maybe 160 horses at max. <laughs> and uh, I told her, I said, I will build you a car, but I'm not restoring that car. Right. I said, we're going to get you something you can have a little fun in. <laughs> so now the car's got a 435 horse uh, Gen 2 Coyote. Uh, it's got the 8.8 .8, uh, rear diff positive track in it. Okay. Uh, of course, four wheel disc brakes at all the corners, uh, coil over adjustables for the suspension. Nice. Uh, and of course, obviously, the the uh, upgraded uh, steering uh, rack and pinion on it. Um, the car's got a custom interior. Those are the original seats. We just had seat covers made for it. Okay. Uh, the original back seat in it was just a snap-in back seat, and we pulled it out, and that's where the stereo system now ha calls home. That, I love that. Uh, I love that. The um, uh, car, of course, these Coyotes lay so wide we couldn't put all the brake we want up there, but you know we we managed to. Uh, fit in what we needed so okay uh, hydraulic uh, brakes hydraulic okay. yeah. yeah absolutely I, we try to put hydraulic brakes on everything that we build <laughs> okay. we built a lot of cars in, yeah. in the course for years so okay uh, yeah you can tell by looking at this one right here that y'all you got your hands in deep down in the car building yeah yeah we stripped it all the way down completely and the car was in really nice shape to start with I'd owned it for 30 years no rust on the car it was just a wow. fabulous car to build okay but I had no idea at the time when I bought it it was going to wind up here you know <laughs> yeah but here we are it's good uh, the uh, windshield on the car we couldn't find a replacement for it this car is actually when it was built from the factory mm -hmm. at the, from the from the custom part mm -hmm. the back part of it is actually a Mercedes really if you look at the old Mercedes I forget 450 SL or whatever they were uh -huh. uh, it was the SL series and the convertible top is the same way too oh it's got an SL top on it nice nice yeah. nice it's not power it's a it's a uh, manual top and, uh, but the windshield in it we couldn't find, mm -hmm. so I can't remember the vendor we used, but it's got a Lexan windshield in it, and we ordered one that was just a little bigger, but it had the same form, uh -huh. and they build them for the Fox bodies all the time. Okay. And so we just took it and cut it down a little bit to fit the frame. Oh, nice. Okay. And sealed it in. Good so, yeah, deal. It came, came out pretty nice. All right, y'all. I'm going to show you this bad boy. He done ran down everything that he's got in it, 
and but y'all this this car's off the charts let me just show you yeah we're gonna start right up here looking at the engine and remember coyote had it built he wanted something built that was gonna run he wanted more than that 160 some odd horsepower engine that it had in there so he went all the way he went 100 all the way maxed it out but check it out all the covers that's over everything this thing looks beautiful everything covered up this thing looks something like it's brand new built in in 2020 with with the way he got this thing put together but i love that radiator cover everything you can still get to it right here oh check it out straight up custom you know you can't just go buy that bad boy nowhere because he said he builds cars and y'all can see his work yes you can't knock this at all and love the orange metallic you can just see it this camera's not going to do it any justice i'm telling you right now but look at it it's sitting right here sparkling i don't think you're going to see or find a better looking capri nowhere around with a yodi in this bad boy but check it out look at the interior all custom had the seats redone custom seats yo no expense spare on this bad boy none check out center console off the charts interior immaculate rear seat nope check it out sound system now that's it actually get you some of y'all vert guys thinking you know y'all don't use that back seat anyway <laughs> this should be a good idea for you right there to put that bad boy in there but let me show you something else dealing with the exterior check that out huh how many times have you seen that yes it is flush mounted my goodness i'm telling you imagination went into this bad boy right here and it came out perfect Look at the door. See it? Capri on the door. Y'all. Y'all gotta get his man his props. So he went all the way. All the way out on this bad boy. Look at the entire interior of the trunk. Just beautiful. That is awesome. So I got the pipes coming out the back. American racing wheels. He already told you how tight the suspension is. Look at there. If y'all ever get a chance at any show and you see this man, y'all go check this car out. Because his camera's not going to do it any justice. Oh my goodness. Look at the hood. Hood off the chain. I'm telling y'all, y'all might not, not, might not find a better looking Capri on the road. But I'm, I'm just seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm digging, I'm digging how he did that. That is beautiful. Hey, yo, remember I said this thing is probably like it was built in 2020? He's even got updated filler neck in his bed, but look at the cap. He just goes straight in, seals itself off, put it in, pull it out, you're done. One more thing too that was brought to my attention Look at there. No keyhole. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I can't I can't daily drive this, y'all. There's the trunk latch. Oh the trunk? Uh-huh. It's the trunk latch. There's hey, there's the trunk latch. You, I know you was wondering how does it get into the trunk? That's the trunk latch right there. He just 
push, pull, open. All right, we're gonna close this bad boy on out. Hey, y'all. Hey, what's? That just took my. That just. I'm speechless. I just took. That took everything I got out of me. But uh, hey, we'll check y'all next time. Ooh.